15 strong and capricious characters in the attractive anime My Hero Academia. Do you want to know these 15 characters? Stay with Shisho Anime until the end of the video. Let's go. My Hero Academia is back for its sixth season and fans are excited about the action-packed episodes. The battle between heroes and villains has escalated into an all-out war, with both sides relying more on their physical strength and technique than their quirks. Quirks are the cornerstone of the future setting, and humanity's relationship with these supernatural gifts is complicated. Some characters rely mainly on their quirks to fight while others are physically fit and strong and only use their quirks as backup tools. 15. Gunhead The intimidating pro-hero Gunhead is actually a good person deep down, even if he looks more like a villain. Gunhead has a ranged quirk called Gatling that can fire keratin bullets at short to medium range, though Gunhead is hardly ever seen using this quirk. Instead, Gunhead focuses on martial arts, which he is best known for, and he runs a dojo-like pro-hero agency to match. Ochako Uraraka sought him out for this very reason, aiming to learn close quarters combat to make better use of her touch-only quirk. 14. Toya Setsuno The minor villain Toya Setsuno is one of the eight bullets, or overhauls elite minions in the Shihasai Kai crime family. Toya may not be on muscular's level, but he's still a tough fighter who can beat down any opponent alongside his allies. Toya may be a tough street punk with killer instincts, but his larceny quirk is mediocre at best. While he can steal small items from afar, this quirk won't easily win him a fight. It won't even do anything against characters like Fumikage or Tenya Ida, who don't have anything for him to steal. 13. Ricky Dusato the tall, polite Ricky Dusato is a melee powerhouse, and he hardly needs his sugar rush quirk to bulk up and pummel villains and criminals into submission. He is a gentle giant who prefers baking and peace over combat, but he's also a brave and confident fighter. Ricky Du's sugar rush ability can power him up even more, but the boost is temporary, and then he falls apart as the sugar high ends. A skill, brawny student hero like Rikido needs a different melee oriented quirk to get the most out of his natural, physical talents to truly shine. 12. Spinner Spinner is a gecko themed heteromorph, and his quirk did far more to shape him as a person than as a fighter. Like many heteromorphs, Spinner faced a great deal of discrimination which drove him to join the heroes so he would be accepted at last. Spinner is strong enough to be a major leader in the Paranormal Liberation Front, and he can even swing around oversized swords made of dozens of other weapons held together. That's impressive, but evidently, Spinner doesn't owe any of his strength to his gecko-themed quirk. 11. Magoni Magoni was one of the League of Villains' most brutal characters of all, the Wild. Wild Pussycats recognized her as a murderous criminal who can easily take lives just for fun, and even the formidable tiger had a rough time facing Magoni in single combat. Meanwhile, Magoni's quirk, magnetism, has its uses but isn't Mang's primary asset. This quirk can draw people of the opposite sex together or repel same-sex people, but Magoni was never seen putting this quirk to excellent use in the anime. Instead, Magoni relies on her fists and killer instincts to get the job done. 10. Fourth Kind The suit-wearing pro-hero Fourth Kind didn't make a good impression in My Hero Academia's internship mini-arc. Fourth Kind had a hot temper and even hit Ijiro and Tetsu Tetsu on the head with his fists, and he only taught them to pick up litter in public spaces. Fourth Kind has four arms thanks to his quirk, but that's not saying much. He's clearly a strong fellow who takes fitness seriously, and against ordinary criminals. Having four fists is impressive. Against more substantial foes, though, this four arms quirk is seriously underwhelming. 9. Tiger Tiger is the powerhouse of the wild, wild pussycats pro hero team. While the other three members rely entirely on their quirks to rescue people in mountain terrain, 
Tiger is a melee fighter who can easily take on one for all and survive. In fact, Tiger had nothing to fear from his Yuku's usage of Ofana practice tool. Tiger is the powerhouse of the wild, wild pussycats pro hero team. While the other three members rely entirely on their quirks to rescue people in mountain terrain, Tiger is a melee fighter who can easily take on one for all and survive. In fact, Tiger had nothing to fear from his Yuku's usage of Ofana practice tool. 8. Mirio Tugata Mirio Tugata, through sheer effort and experience, turned his bizarre permeation quirk into a serious asset, which is why he is, UA's number one student. On its own, though, permeation offers few advantages and is difficult to master, so Mirio struggled with it for quite some time. Permeation is a double-edged sword because while it makes Mario intangible for defense's sake, it also shuts down his senses and makes him fall through both the floor and his clothing. However, Mirio had the grit and skills needed to hone his body into a weapon that can make better use of permeation. 7. Mashi Rao Ojiro Mashi Rao Ojiro is often considered one of Class 1A's most underwhelming and forgettable students. He is a physically strong and skilled student hero who can use his tail quirk to move and fight like a beefed up monkey, but he hasn't made much progress that way. Mashi Rao may be fit and healthy, but his unimpressive tail quirk has done little to make him pro hero material so far. At this point in the My Hero Academia anime, it's clear that Mashi Rao is doomed to be a footnote, an athletic boy with a quirk that won't let him be a real star. 6. Ijiro Kirishima Ijiro Kirishima is one of several Class 1A boys who has the manly spirit and physical stamina to be a real hero, but his quirk holds him back. To his credit, Ijiro found ways to make his hardening quirk more useful and relevant, but there's not much room left for further innovation or growth. Ijiro's quirk makes him a decent melee fighter and a good human shield. But this is only helpful in niche cases. In all the major fights, Ijiro's quirk is boring after all, and his physical toughness isn't enough for him to rival the likes of Itsuka Kendo, Izuka Midoriya, or Tenya Ida. 5. Gran Torino The elderly Gran Torino was one All Might's shonen mentors, and now he's Izuku Midoriya's best teacher. 2. Gran Torino's air jet quirk isn't terrible. But it's also underwhelming compared to what Torino's pro hero peers can do. Gran Torino's overall strength derives more from his advanced techniques and hands-on creativity and intelligence than sheer quirk power. His quirk is only mediocre, and its nature plays just a supporting role in what makes Gran Torino such a great hero. 4. Vlad King Class 1B's homeroom teacher is Vlad King, a tall, burly fellow with an excellent physique and a surprisingly underwhelming quirk. Vlad King's blood control quirk has its uses, such as restraining his foes with solidified blood, but it's a far cry from what other pro heroes are doing. Blood control is less than half of Vlad King's combat power. His real strength is purely physical, with Vlad King being a terrifically strong athletic pro hero who can simply beat villains barehanded and restrain them until the police arrive to arrest them. 3. Itsuka Kendo Itsuka Kendo is Class 1B's representative, and she takes that troll seriously as a big sister figure. She is a well-balanced student hero who is brave, mature, a skilled fighter, and a solid tactician who can take on Momo Yaoya Orozu and win. Itsuka's quirk is Big Fist which is exactly that, a quirk that makes her hands much bigger. With that quirk, she can grab people or pummel them, but it's still a basic physical enhancement quirk that has little room for improvement. Itsuka's real strength is her leadership and inspiring charisma. 2. Stain The sinister assassin villain Stain has remarkable speed, agility, stealth, and skill with bladed weapons none of which derives from his quirk. His actual quirk is blood curdle, allowing him to briefly paralyze someone if he ingests their blood. On its own, that quirk means very little, and not just anyone could get a sample of their target's blood. So, Stain trained to become a deadly assassin and ninja-like warrior, 
which is where 90% of his combat effectiveness actually comes from. 1. Kendo Rappa The muscle-bound villain Kendo Rappa is one of several My Hero Academia characters whose quirk is just a modest extension of what they can already do with their bodies. Kendo Rappa can use his strong arm quirk to deal rapid punches for a few seconds, and nothing more. Kendo Rappa would be almost as powerful in combat even if he were born quirkless, and strong arm only gave him a minor boost when fighting Fat Gum in Season 4. He did put it to good use in that fight, but it was still an underwhelming quirk for a strong My Hero Academia villain. Thank you very much for being with me so far. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next interesting videos.